What's going on guys? Captain from Epic Gardening here. Today we're doing a self-watering planter. This is probably the cheapest you'll ever be able to do it because you just need PVC, one bucket, an old t-shirt which should be free, and then just something and you don't even have to buy this part to hold up the lid which you're gonna see me do. So let's go ahead and build this bad boy. All right, my friend Mike is helping me out here. We are drilling a one inch diameter hole in the center and a one inch offset hole to the outside edge. And it's actually slightly larger than one inch because the PVC I used was one inch interior diameter, not exterior. So it slides in with a nice tight fit. That's gonna be how we're going to fill the planter, but we need to cut this lid out because this lid is going to sit on a platform at the bottom of the bucket and that's how it's going to get sub irrigated. So we're cutting this out with an X-Acto, being very careful not to cut ourselves and making sure to leave about an inch of the lid remaining because we can still use the lid at the end of this process. So now we've cut this out, what we need to do is slide the PVC in, but before we do that, we have to actually cut the support. So this is a six inch diameter PVC that we're cutting in half because if we were to put it down there as a single ring, it would actually have, it would just be an air bubble down there and it wouldn't be effective. We want as much water in that as possible. Now we are drilling two drainage holes about a centimeter below the ring so that this will never overflow. And then we're putting on a 100% cotton old towel, old t-shirt, whatever you wanna use, and sliding in our mechanism. So our supports are at the bottom, the lid's sitting on the bottom, and then we're wrapping the t-shirt around and stuffing it into that center hole. So now we have our sub irrigation section with wicking action installed perfectly. And we're filling up with some basic potting soil. This is just my classic mix. I've got plenty of videos on how you make a high quality potting soil inexpensively. Make sure you got a lot of fertility going on, just topping it off here. And there you go. Now we can put the lid on. And if you want, you can throw some weed fabric down and you know protect that soil surface. You can throw some mulch down. There's a lot of different modifications you can do, but we need to fill this up. So we're filling it up straight through our PVC and we'll know that it's full when you see it draining out the drainage holes. You see that if you're looking in the bottom right hand corner of the bucket. Now I'm just wetting the soil and we're putting in our little foam line for float. This is totally optional, but I like to know where the water level is so I know when I need to refill it. I'm gonna put in some variegated sage here just as a test and voila, you have an under $10 sub irrigated planter that basically grows itself. Well, there we have it, everyone. It's pretty easy and it's pretty cheap. And it's one of the better designs that I've seen for a self-watering planter. So let's just run through how it works one more time, just so it sinks in and you can use it in your garden if you want to. So what's happening here is we have the PVC, the larger sort of six inch piece that we cut in half. And the reason we cut that in half is because if we were to put it in straight in as a cylinder, then what would happen is there would be a pocket of air that wouldn't be filled with water. So you had to split it in half. And then we've cut the interior of this lid out, drilling one hole in the middle, one hole offset. Hole in the middle is used to stuff that t-shirt in for the wicking action. Hole that's offset is used for our PVC fill line. Now, the beauty of this is that the, the lid is sitting right here, right? Somewhere around the five inch mark. These drainage holes, which are one here and one here, sitting about a centimeter below that. So the water level is never ever going to go above where the lid is. Basically what that means is it's never gonna go up into the soil level. Sometimes I've seen self-watering containers where there aren't drainage holes. And if you fill from the top, you can actually just fill the entire bucket, which of course defeats the purpose of a self-watering planter. That's a self plant killing planter, but it's not a self watering planter. Okay. So the other nice little piece about this is the lid is wrapped in a 100% cotton old tea. Cotton's really good for wicking action. It's going to pull water from right here, AKA below the lid, above the lid, hit the soil, soil being a mix of one third peat, one third compost, one third, some sort of aeration, pumice, perlite, something like that. And that water, as soon as it touches this drier soil, is going to go, whoop, going to go straight up sort of a capillary action type of thing and going to hit the plant roots, which are just going to love it. They're gonna absolutely drink it all the way up. You can see the sage is doing pretty well in here right now. And then the final little touch, which is of course optional, is this float line. So this is just some foam that I cut and popped in. You can see it kind of bounces around. This is just about the height of this. And so when I see it probably down at maybe this level here, I will know, hey, it's probably time to fill the planter up again. So 
that's it guys. If you have any suggestions, any improvements on the self-watering planner, please let me know. Always looking for improvements, but it's a pretty healthy, happy little system. Really happy with it. It's gonna be in the book. So the book is The Field Guide to Urban Gardening. That's coming out in spring 2019. Plans like this for DIY self-watering containers, hydroponics, uh, container gardening, microgreens, balconies, rooftops, basically whatever I can do to help someone grow in urban space, limited urban space in a creative way, oftentimes inexpensively and oftentimes very fun, fun to do. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So this is gonna be in that book as well as 25 plus other projects and all sorts of growing information. So looking forward to doing that. Book's almost done. I'm really freaking cranking on it. Uh, it's stressing me out a little bit, but I'm happy to do it, excited to do it, and really excited to show it to you all. So till next time, guys, good luck in the garden, keep growing, and I'll see you in the next video.